Hi guys, it's Rike and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of Activer. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Today I'll be reviewing Ox Jocks. Um, they are a, I guess, like Chinese based brand that sometimes does, uh, you know, just copy other brands designs. I've purposely done a video about like, um, some of their designs versus the original Buff Bunny collection designs. I'll link that video up here in case you want to check that out because they still have those pieces. And I don't know, recently they've like, you know, had some, some other cute sports bras. Um, and like also some other cute buff bunny knockoffs and stuff. And you know, I mean, they're pretty affordable. So, uh, I was interested in trying them. I actually tried to message them to see if they wanted to send me some stuff, but like, they just don't read their DMs. And when you send them an email, they ask you to send them a DM on Instagram. So I was like, you know what, <laughs> whatever. Um, so yeah, I paid with the stuff for myself, which I usually do for the videos. So just in case you're wondering, this is still going to be my very honest opinion. Um, and we'll see how I like their more budget versions of other things, I guess. Um, so I have some like more buff bunny knockoff things, something, some things that I hadn't seen before somewhere else. And like some, I guess, like athlete knockoff stuff. Um, so we have a few items here. And uh, let's just start with the sports bra that I think was like pretty popular like a few months ago. This is the Sienna Low Impact Sports Bra and I got this in the color Dream Swirl. Don't ask me what it's called Dream Swirl. It's just like a kind of like bluish purple. No, no sorry, bluish gray, not purple. Bluish purplish gray, let's say that. And uh, this one is a very like uh, boobylicious uh, sports bra, I guess. Uh, at least I assume if you have like a bigger chest, then there's going to be a lot of stuff on uh, display. I did stick with my normal size of small for the for the small sports bras and the medium for the bottoms, by the way. So it's not like a brand where you have to necessarily size up. At least we'll see. I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, this is the Sienna Low Impact Sports Bra. And yeah, I'd, I'd seen a lot of people wear this. So, you know, I was like, sure, I'll, I'll try that one. Because it's cute, you know, it has like this little twisty moment here. We have removable cup pads, we have like thinner straps here, and then in the back it's just also just thin straps, very open. Uh, as you can see here, just the thin strap at the back as well, so just like some elastic straps basically. The straps are not adjustable, but you know, I mean, they have some stretch to them, so I guess it should be fine. The fabric is a nylon spandex blend. And it's like slightly brushed and very soft. So definitely nice. I think the material composition is also quite similar to the Buff Bunny Collection Nubra fabric, in case you're interested. I don't think it feels the exact same way. I mean, I can, I can try this one because this is also Nubra fabric. But yeah, this one feels slightly softer than this for sure. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it looks cute. So I'm just excited to see how it looks on, especially on my smaller chest. You know, I'm always afraid we're like, these deep V's that like I'm just gonna fall out that I can't fill it out or something. So let's see how it looks. All right, I'm very surprised at how well this bra fits. Like, I mean, for me, it's actually like, I would say even maybe medium support, so light to medium support. I don't have a big chest, so just keep that in mind. But like, I can see why a lot of people like this bra a lot. Cause I think like a few months ago, everyone was wearing this. And yes, it is definitely a lot. So I'm not sure like, how comfortable I feel to just prance around in the gym like this. But you know, like, I mean, that's, everyone has their own comfort level and uh, that's okay. Like, I feel like if I would go with my friends, I would wear this without a problem. But if I'd go by myself, maybe not so much, but yeah. I don't have a big chest. So I feel like if you have a lot of like chest going on, then of course you're also gonna see a little bit more cleavage here. But I think it's like really cute and flattering actually. It feels very nice on, it's like not too tight. There's like a little bit of space. It's also not really an elastic or a band or anything, but like I still feel like I'm nicely tucked in. And I was afraid with this one, I was gonna fall out. But even if I do this, like there's no gaping. So that's really, really good. We have thicker straps here. And then the back is just like kind of like, you know, not much happening, <laughs> as in like you have a lot of like thin straps. They're not adjustable, unfortunately. I feel like that could maybe help with, a, you know, some people. But usually for me, I have the problem that straps are a little bit too long and these fit perfectly. So yeah, I'm like, I'm very positively surprised with this one. They had a lot of color options and I also feel like the fabric feels actually quite nice. Like definitely not comparable to like, um, like super high end, like 
brands, but like it feels definitely nice and soft. Like I have no complaints with this, but yeah, it's just like, it's cute. And then you have like this, it's kind of like a twisty thing here. And I'm surprised really at how much support it gives. And yeah, we have removable cup pads in here. It's all good. And I mean, then with the open bag, right, it's just also really nice. You can show off your gains. But yeah, I'm very positively surprised with this one. Um, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, if you have a bigger chest, there's probably going to be a lot more going on. And I feel like, you know, I kind of wish there was like swim tops that were like this. Because I feel like definitely as a like bikini top, I would for sure wear where there's a lot because it's like very cute not even flattering on like a smaller chest and I mean to be fair as a sports bra I could just like imagine myself putting this under things because it's also very comfortable like you know maybe the I could see the straps like maybe cutting in a little bit around the traps here after a while but like it's nothing too bad or anything because they do get a little bit thinner here as you can see so maybe there's like a little bit of like potential for cutting in but otherwise I think it's very flattering and surprisingly supportive yeah all right next up we have the oxtox lily adjustable bra oh there we go in white so this one is basically a candy buff bunny, Collect buff bunny collection candy wrap sports bar knockoff so I'm wearing the candy rep sports bar currently from buff bunny collection and yeah this is the the ox jocks version of it which they call lily so you have the same detailing here with the wrap here which you also have on this one you have removable cup hats and you have like this more v uh, neck situation on both of these and also we do have on both of these straps elastic straps here and uh, you can adjust them there and there's of course also like a little bit of something here and then in the back you also do have uh, just elastics elastic straps here and we also do have elastic straps on the original version here for example but I will say one one difference right away is this part here on the buff body sports bra is metal whereas this part on the Arstrox bra is just plastic and also the elastic straps here like the elastic just feels thinner less like less good quality than this one so there's definitely some quality differences and like we have like here the elastic here too and i think one of the differences as well is actually that this one is i don't know if i can show you this one is crossed over whereas here we just have like just straight straps you know if that makes sense and so there definitely is like a few design differences and for sure like a little bit of a quality difference but also don't forget that this bra is half the price basically of the original one um i picked white just to see how like how well the the white was you know or how, how well it was made how good it was gonna be because sometimes with white with like cheaper brands you have a problem that you can see the cup hats through a lot so right now i can't see them uh, we'll see how that is when I have it on. Um, but yeah, so far, like, I think it, it, it looks pretty nice. It's just, like, the, the, the plastic for the adjustability and, like, the less lesser quality um, elastic here, maybe. That's a little bit, like, hmm. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty good one. The fabric is also nice and brushed. Very soft. Uh, same fabric as we had on the Sienna sports bra. 75% nylon, 25% spandex. Uh, so yeah, I think the Buff Bunny Newbrook fabric with, with which this bra is made is 73% nylon and 27% spandex or something. So they're pretty similar and both are brushed as well. So yeah, let's just see if it fits the same on as well. All right, this one's clearly a candy wrap sports bra knockoff. So about the Buff Bunny candy wrap sports bra, but the Ox Jocks version. Um, and I think they did a great job at like, you know, capturing... The look of the candy wrap sports bra and i like the the top fab like this fabric here it's very nice and soft and brushed and i'm surprised it is white but i don't think you can see the cup hats through a lot if at all like i in the mirror couldn't see it maybe not with the different lights maybe but like i think it's actually pretty good for being white so yeah you have this wrap detailing here you have removable cup hats nice deep uh v here for the cleavage and then in the bag you have some elastic detailing here and then also adjustable straps here that crisscross. So, so far the look 
is very, very similar to the Candy Breath Sports Bra, but I, there's definitely some quality differences, I would say. I think um, size-wise, though, this one fits actually quite more comfortably than the Buff Bunny one. So the Buff Bunny one, some people do like to size up in general. I do wear small on that one. is kind of like tight and keeps them well locked in. This one, I also wear in a small now, and it's definitely bigger. So, you know, I feel like if you were to size up in a Buff Bunny one, because you feel the fit is quite tight, you don't need to do that in the Oxjox version, apparently. Um, Support-wise, though, also, I think it's losing a little bit because of that. I think with the Candy Rub Sports Bra from Buff Bunny, I do get like medium to high support in here. It's more like a medium support, but you know, otherwise it fits quite comfortably. And yeah, I also feel like the elastic straps are not cutting in as much as they do maybe with the Buff Bunny Collection Candy Rub Sports Bra. But what I will also say is that there is some quality differences that are, as I already mentioned, with Buff Bunny, we have like some metal detailing here and this is just plastic. So you have like some white plastic here and the straps, here, the adjustability things are also plastic and not metal. And the the elastic itself is not as soft, not as thick. Doesn't look as durable. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, I think like it looks very, very similar. It fits quite nicely. It's comfortable. And yeah, I'm, I'm still positively surprised by this. But I think if I wanted to have something that's a little bit more durable, I'd probably just pay the a little bit of extra for that sports bra from Buff Bunny collection. And I also do think that them having those metal things, those metal uh, details, it makes it look a little bit more like luxurious, you know. Um, but otherwise, I think this is a great option. Like I said, the, the actual fabric part feels super nice and soft, like very brushed, very soft. And as I already mentioned, I'm very surprised with like how the white looks even even though it is white and that you can't see the cup pads. So yeah, I, I think it's cute. Also, of course, matches nicely with uh, this now. And um, I mean, white goes with anything. So yeah, I think Buff Bunny Collection probably also still has the white ones in stock, but yeah, these ones are a good option if you want, if you're a little bit more on a budget and you don't care too much about the, the plastic versus the metal detailing. So I think that's one of the biggest differences. And like I said, the fit also, this one's actually a little bit more comfortable. So yeah. All right, to go with the white candy wrap sports bra, I of course, had to get some leggings. And these are the Trinity Four Seam leggings in this light blue dot print. So this is basically a Buff Bunny Collection Legacy legging dupe. Um, and we have a bossy print situation here as well. Buff Bunny Nair Collection hasn't done a light blue yet. And I actually like kind of wanted them to do a light blue because I like light blues. So, you know. Oxtrax has it, so that's pretty nice. They do have a lot of color options and some print options as well. So if you're not into the bossy print, they definitely do have some solid colors too. And um, the fabric is also, I think, probably the same again. 75% nylon, and 25% spandex, yes. I got these in a size medium. Um, this is a print, so these are printed on white because white is the lightest color in this print. So just be aware of that, that it might stretch out a little bit, you know, and since these are a lighter color, they might not be squat proof too. So that's also another thing. We have no front seam on these, high waist, no top seam either. And then in the back, uh, we have this seam glue detailing here. Uh, on the Buff Bunny Collection Legacy leggings, it's just three seams. Here we have four seams, no logo. The Buff Bunny Collection logo would otherwise be here um, if it was a Buff Bunny Collection piece. And we do have the side seam uh, here that splits up like kind of at the height of your knees, I guess. And then it just goes all the way down in two seams. Yes, these actually feel pretty nice. They like, um, they are soft and brushed, but they don't feel as soft maybe as the Buff Bunny Collection Uber fabric. But again, these are also much cheaper than those. Um, and I feel like they maybe feel a little bit more stiff, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to describe it, but like, yeah, maybe a little bit more stiff. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'm very excited about this color. I think this would look cute with the uh, white candy wrap knockoff sports bra, so the white lily sports bra. And let's just see it on. All right, onto these uh, legacy legging dupes. Honestly, like, I do love this color. I was, I kind of wished Buff Bunny Collection 
hat made like a more like light blue or like even like kind of periwinklish but uh, bossy print and they have not done that so far but you know when I saw these ones I was like yeah I'm gonna just try those in buff print collection I do wear a size small my legacy leggings here I went for a size medium and I think that's a little bit better I do have a little bit of extra space here in the back but you know, otherwise it actually fits quite comfortably. So I'm not complaining here. Um, we have no front seam, no top seam. And then the same detailing we have with the actual Buff Bunny Legacy leggings, one seam down here that splits up. And in the bag, of course, that beautiful glue detailing, although they do have an extra seam here. So these are four seams first with the Buff Bunny Legacy leggings. We only have three seams on each side. Still very flattering though. Um, I'm also not sure if these are as high-waisted. I think the Buff Bunny Collection Legacy leggings are a little bit sh longer in the waist, not shorter. These ones are a little bit shorter, but it's actually like a nice height because this actually really ends around my um, natural waist, maybe like a teeny tiny bit underneath, whereas the Buff Bunny ones are usually a little bit higher. But yeah, I think it's it's such a pretty color. I mean, look at look at this, just like a nice light blue with a bossy print. And then, yeah, just wear with a white sports bra or something. I think these are actually really nice. nice. Um, the fabric is a little bit less body hugging, but it's still very nice. It's brushed. Like for the price, I have no complaints with this. I don't think these are gonna be very squat proof. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and I mean, yes, it is a lighter color, um, but yeah, so it's the, the, I don't, I don't think they're going to be very squat proof. And then we have like a seven, eight length on these. Also, one thing I don't really like too much is that they're a little bit wider around my ankles. Like it's, there's not too much gaping going on, but they're not, n not tight around my ankles. And I kind of want my leggings to be tight around the ankles. So usually that, that tells me I should probably size down to a small, but like I said, otherwise I actually feel like, you know, it fits nicely, especially in the thighs. So maybe for the waist, I could have gone down size smaller for my ankles, but maybe not for the thighs. So yeah, really depends on where you have your weight on how to size these, I think. But I'm happy with the medium for now. And yeah, like I said, I mean, with this light blue, can't complain about it. Light blues are like kind of my favorite colors for active wear. And this bossy print, I mean, it's just like very, you know, versatile. It's not like too much in your face of a print. So actually, I think these are really, really pretty. And I think even like, especially the set, you know, it's kind of cute. All right, next up, we have a fun one. I think it's also fun how they named this. So this is the Rebellion Square Neck Sports Bra. And do you know how the Buff Bunny one is called? It's called Revolution Sports Bra. So I think they kind of even got inspired by the name a little bit because Rebellion and Revolution are kind of very similar things, you know? Um, but yes, this is the Rebellion Square Neck Sports Bra. And I got this in the color uh, coffee. So yeah, I was just gonna say it's just some brown, but this is the color coffee. Um, also got this one in a size small. I do love the Revolution Sports Bra from Buff Bunny. And I don't think it comes in a brown like this. So I also usually don't wear browns like this, but you know, I'm like, let's just, let's just do it. Um, do something else. And I do love square necks, usually on sports bras. I have a smaller chest and I find the square necks pretty flattering on my smaller chest. I think this again is the same fabric that we've seen before now. 75% nylon, 25% spandex. So um, yeah, same fabric, it's nice and brushed and soft. We have removable cup pads on this one as well. Um, and the cup pads also do have their respective 
areas to be in. So there's the seam in the middle. Um, we have thicker straps here, quite far on the outside of your um, of the, the neckline here. And then in the back, we just have that beautiful, like, strappy back. There's a plastic ring here in the middle. And yeah, that's kind of it, you know? Nice strappy back, square neckline in the front. It's a bit more of a long line sports bra as well. So you do have a, like a little bit of more fabric here underneath that seam. And yeah, I just think it's like, it's a, it's a pretty color actually. It's like a more of a cooler toned brown, but still has like a little bit of a reddish hue. And I mean, dupe wise, it looks pretty good actually. So yeah, again, it doesn't feel the exact same as the Nuber fabric. I feel the Nuber fabric doesn't, like it feels a little bit more um, I don't know, like, like I said, this one also feels a little bit more stiff than your typical Nubra fabric. So, yeah. And maybe the Nubra fabric feels a little bit more softer still, I think it does. But it's otherwise pretty good. Let's see it on. Alright, this is bra. I'm not much for, like, browns usually, but I think this is actually, you know, quite nice. It's a little bit more of a cooler toned brown, a little bit of a darker brown. Um, and clearly this one is also a Buff Bunny Collection bra knockoff. Uh, for the Revolution Sports Bar, one of my favorites for smaller chests because we have this beautiful square neckline. And I will say, you know, it actually fits quite nicely. I think the straps are a little bit thicker than the original, but otherwise, like, it's nice and long lined. Removable cup hats, like I said, a super cute square neckline, just kind of flattering for smaller chests. And yeah, no, like, no seam here or something. This is really just a bit of fabric. And then in the back, it's nice and strappy with the ring here in the middle. And I have no complaints about this one, you know? Support-wise, so small, yeah, small to medium support. Light to medium support. Um, so like, usually, I think the original was also kind of like that. So like, not like my absolute favorite in case you're like doing super high support things. But like for me, usually like, light to medium support is enough for most of my activities. But yeah, I think it's super pretty. I think this is like a really nice color. It works nicely with like some darker reds, you know? I don't think that's how I would pair it. And what I also really like about the thick straps here on the side is like it gives you nice side boob coverage as well. And like a little bit of a armpit fat coverage too. Um, yeah, straps are not adjustable, but I don't think they need to be. Like I think the length is actually pretty good. And like I said, the strappy back is very, very cute. I like how long lined it is. Um, this fabric doesn't feel as body hugging as the actual Buff Bunny Nubri fabric. So definitely not as like, it's not morphing with your body as much. So just keep that in mind. Like there's definitely like some some differences in how it feels on the skin. But like fit wise, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and yeah, they definitely have different colors sometimes than the Buff Bunny collection does. So if you're missing um, a Revolution Sports Bra in like a brown, for example, I don't think they've ever done that, then this one is a pretty good option, you know? All right, that was it with the Buff Bunny dupes. And now I think we're heading into the Alpha Lead dupe territory with two seamless pieces that I have left over here. Left over, as in, you know, I mean, I haven't talked about them yet. So yeah, let's just uh, get into the seamless pieces, basically. <laughs> this is the Front Cut uh, Cutout Journey, no, for, sorry, W yeah, Front Cutout Journey Seamless Bra. So this is the color berry blackberry oh yeah blackberry so it's like a dark red it has a little bit of a model print to it i don't know is it yeah i think it's with black so i guess that makes sense then so like a, a dark wine red with like a little bit of black marl and i feel like what's their sports work like the alpha lead one called trinity or something but anyway like we have these triple strap situation here in the back and i've definitely seen that before from alpha lead so there's that um we also do have this front cutout as promised by the by the name of the sports bar here. But you still do get, I think, a decent amount of coverage in the chest area. There's removable cup hats and there's this time no seam in the middle. Like there's nothing keeping them from wandering over to each other's side and stuff. So that might be a little bit annoying for some of you, depending on how how much your cup hats usually move if you don't have that. Um, we do have a seamless band underneath the chest here. That's decently stretchy. The seamless fabric is not the softest, but it's also not like terrible or anything. Just not the softest I felt. And yeah, the triple straps here are quite thick. 
they are sewn on so I'm not sure how comfortable it's gonna be and you have like a seam in the middle there of the straps of each of them I think which is a little weird you know I don't know if it had to be like that or not um, and for some reason I did get this one on an extra small I, I didn't think I did but I must have because it says extra small let's see what my order thing says oh yeah it says extra small I don't know I don't know why I did that um, but we'll see if that was a good <laughs> decision or not. Um, and this fabric, by the way, is uh, nylon, spandex, and polyester. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, you know, kind of wanted to try something else. Um, so let's see it out. All right, this sports bra definitely reminds me of something that Alpha Elite has done before, uh, but I don't have that particular sports bra, so uh, I can't say anything like comparison-wise. I will say that the seamless fabric is like not the softest I've ever felt, also definitely not like the scratchiest, but like it's kind of like in between. <laughs> so it, it's still definitely wearable, and like I don't feel like the need to take it off immediately. It's just like I've definitely feel, felt softer, so yeah. Um, I don't know why I got the sports one extra small. I didn't think I did that, but you know, it still fits okay. Um, I actually do like that I don't have too much extra space around here. I do have a little bit of extra space, especially when you like go in here, but it's not so bad. We have like a higher neckline, but you get some uh, uh, boob ventilation here. And I guess if you have a bigger chest, you might get some under boob. For me, like nothing is happening there. You know, it's all good. We have this band, like a ripped band, seamless. And then you have thicker straps here and in the bag you have like this kind of like three strap situation but it's a little weird like the, these straps on the side like they're kind of going too close to my arms like they're kind of digging into my arm underarm area a little bit like i think it would have been better if they'd come a little bit further down here so i don't think it's the most comfortable like it feels a little weird and I don't think I should have sized up for this because I'm otherwise like nicely tugged in and I also don't think it would have changed the placement of the straps if that makes sense. So it's really just like why they are coming in like all the way over here. Why do they have to cut across your armpit area? That's what I don't get. You know, they could have just gone down here because I don't think it adds support or anything. It's just like adds discomfort. So yeah, I, I'm not really too keen on this sports bra. Um, I guess this is my least favorite item so far. Support wise, light to medium support. So that's all good. And I also feel like the more you move the, like this, this vent area might disappear a little bit, you know, depending on how you're standing as well. Um, but yeah, like just the straps on the side, like, I don't know, like they're just too close to here. You know, they're like kind of like just rubbing up that area there. It's just like, no, no, I don't like it. I would prefer just like, yeah, to, for them to come like a little bit closer to that middle strip here, if that makes sense. And yeah, like I said, if the, I guess if the seamless had been like super soft, maybe it wouldn't bother me too much, but it's, yeah, it's not. And then you have like a seam kind of here, if you can see it. So there's a seam in the middle of that strap on the, on the side that faces your skin. And that's kind of like just a little bit uncomfortable. So not my favorite. All right, and last but not least, we have the Asset Leggings, also in Blackberry, except for now they're called the Blackberry Marl color. It's still the same color, so you still have like this darker red with the black marl, so the same color as the Journey sports bra. Um, and this, these ones are definitely supposed to be amplified dupes, I think. So athlete amplifiers are like kind of, I guess, the, the most hyped up seamless leggings with that booty scrunch for the perfect glute separation. I was never a big fan of them, so yeah. Only ever tried them once. <laughs> I do have one pair somewhere, but yeah, I don't really wear them. I'm not the biggest fan of Seamless, uh, although I've recently discovered like one or two pairs that I actually do like. So we'll see if this uh, pair is gonna join that category or not. Um, yeah, we do have a Seamless waistband. We have this three-tiered waistband action. I'm not sure of how easy it is to see that, but like you have um a more tighter like knitted version version part and then you have a more like in the medium knitted part and then uh, like a bit more less tightly knitted part i don't know so like different levels of compression is basically what this is supposed to do um but you're completely seamless and i think there's like some panel detailing here on the sides that is not super obvious but it is there yeah i don't know if you can easily tell but it's there 
like the amplifiers also do have that and in some colors you can tell a little bit more easily than in other colors and I think the darker colors are usually harder to um, you know to, to tell the features apart and of course we do have a butt scrunch because that's what the amplifiers are all about as well so yeah and again like it's a funny name right they so they called them the asset leggings now and I guess you know your your, your butt is your asset whereas the but the alpha uh, people call their version the amplifies to amplify your asset, basically. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we have a butt scrunch here. So there we go. It looks pretty similar to the, um, to the one from uh, the amplify leggings, if I remember correctly, at least. And we can see that it doesn't go all the way down. And you have a little bit of a detailing here. And... Yeah, it doesn't go all the way down. It's not very flexible, I think, but that's also usually how these type of scrunches work out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, like the same, it's the same fabric as what we have for the swatch right now that we saw. So not the softest, seamless, definitely not terrible, but let's see these on. All right, onto these leggings. So I'm actually not mad about them. Um, they have this like very dark, red with that little bit of like marl I don't know if you can see it but yeah it's a little bit marled I like how high-waisted they are um there's definitely a little bit of extra space but like it's not not bad at all and they're actually feeling quite comfortable so same as with the sports bra it's not the softest seamless fabric I've ever felt for sure these are kind of definitely intended to be an alpha lead alpha lux knockoff and um, and the fabric is not comparable at least so I've only tried, no, what, are, what did I say? Alpha Lux. No, I meant the um, amplifies. So these are definitely an athlete amplify dupe. And I've tried the amplifies only once, like a long time ago, and the fabric was definitely not the same. Like this feels more lightweight, but I also know that athlete has changed their fabrics throughout the years. Um, so yeah, but you have like, I know you can, can't see it, but there you have like a little bit of like kind of like mesh detailing, not really mesh, but like, just detailing here that the uh, amplifiers also have. And then you have that scrunch. And I will say this scrunch actually does not like cut in it or, or anything. Like it doesn't restrict me, like it's there, but I, ca I can't really feel it. And I also think like, I guess I'd have to work on getting this in between my cheeks a little bit more. But like, I think it's, you know, it's really, really comfortable actually. I am surprised. I was like dreading trying these on because I was like, oh my God, it's just going to go up that crack and it's just going to be uncomfortable and tight. But actually, like even when I squat, I don't really feel it that much. So yeah, it's nice. I think with the original amplifiers that I tried, I also didn't really like it that much because you could kind of feel it. But with these ones, oh, I'm surprised, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can show you the glute separation you get from this. It's like I said, I think like I'm also not really good at like shoving things in the right places too much but I think it's actually pretty good I know this is a darker color so it's also harder to see but you get a decent amount of the separation and like I said it's not annoying so yeah and um, fabric could definitely be a little bit softer but it is very lightweight very light I guess also that helps with like you know shoving things into the right places um I like the waistband it's not super compressive but you know you have a kind of a two-tier situation here Again, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit, or oh, it's actually three tiers. So like Alpha Lead also did it with like tighter, or is it tighter here? And then, I don't know. But there's like different compression levels to the waistband. Um, and like I said, I don't feel like I'm super compressed, but it does its job and like I feel tucked in, but not too much. And yeah, I could feel like, I'm feeling like, you know, I can, I can do whatever in these. I could probably try the splits in these as well. Cause they seem very stretchy and just like, you know, not, barely there even with that scrunch i'm i'm very positively surprised <laughs>
All right, it's conclusion time. I actually have something interesting to conclude. So the last leggings that I just showed you, I really like them. And I just realized now looking at them that they're already, you know, do you see that? I don't know how easy it is to see, but like, let me just get my hand in there. There's a run in the leggings. Wow. So I've literally only tried them on during this try on, did my few squats and my few bends. And that's what we got. So this is basically right at the end of the booty scrunch. So booty scrunch there. And the run is somewhere down here. That is not great. So yeah, I'll take a picture of that and see if they are willing to refund these. I don't know how that usually works for these type of brands. We'll see. Uh, I will, you know, if in case... Uh, I got a response from them before this video publishes. I'll put information on what happened here on the screen. Otherwise, uh, I'll just, you know, link a comment to the video. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, disappointing because I actually like these. <gasps> ah, but I guess it's good it happened now so I can tell you about it. Um, but this is also such a, like, it's not a great spot for you to get this run, right? And then there was no tightness or something like... You know, and I don't want to say that this means that they are worse quality than Alpha Leads because I've heard so many people complain about their amplifiers ripping. Like ripping right there, basically, but like and ripping entirely. People being in the gym squatting and all of a sudden and they had a leaf. So I guess this is not as bad, but I also didn't really train in these yet. So who um yeah, that's very disappointing. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, I was actually quite happy with all the pieces I got, except for the the sports bra here. So this one I wasn't a fan of because of the strap situation, because of these seams on the inside here, as you can see, and the straps just going into my armpit area. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I was actually pretty happy. I was, you know, like the pieces. I mean, yes, there were some quality differences between this Candy Rep sports bra and the Oxdox Candy Rep sports bra knockoff with the mid metal versus the the plastic uh detailing and the quality of the elastic uh, but i really did like the revolution sports bra knockoff the rebellion sports bra this one here that's actually quite cute i also really like the color and also the first one i tried on the sienna one the very booby boobylicious sports bra and yeah actually the other leggings are also good i hope they didn't uh let me just quickly check but i don't think i don't think anything happened to them at least not as far as I can tell. Seems still to be intact. I mean, it's also different fabric, right? So, but yeah, these still seem to be fine. Um, but yeah, that's very disappointing. I guess, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe it's worth spending more money on it. Or yeah, like I said, I mean, it could just be a fluke, some something that doesn't happen to everyone, hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, but good thing I saw it now, so I don't wear them to the gym, and then at some point I actually do have a proper hole in there. Um, yeah. Can you imagine just walking around like this? And then, I guess, I mean, this is kind of somewhere between your butt cheeks or, like, in your crotch area, but still, like, I, I wouldn't want to run around with holes in my leggings, you know? At least specifically not in these areas. So, yeah. Disappointing! Anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, I will say their stuff is actually not so bad um, I mean it's definitely like also more affordable than some, like you know some of the brands they're knocking off which I guess otherwise if you weren't more affordable what would be the point of you trying to do that um, and you can obviously like go and check them out I think you can also order this stuff via Amazon and I ordered it via their website because I think they're only like on amazon.com and obviously maybe in Europe you know I'd have to pay like import fees and stuff or uh, Amazon would add that to my uh, cart and I would have to pay extra so with this one now I ordered from their website I didn't have to pay import fees nothing um, it took a while to get here and uh, I don't know why because it wasn't it was in in my city for a week before it actually they actually attempted delivery and for some reason they were like oh um, it's booked for delivery on this day and when I checked the tracking it already said it was here so I don't know what happened Anyway, I got it, and um, shipping wasn't the fastest, but it was, uh, you know, free, I think, and as I said, no import fees to be paid, so it's good, maybe a good alternative for everyone who doesn't live in the US or Canada for shopping Buff Bunny pieces, you know, but not real Buff Bunny pieces. 
if you want to save some money. Um, but yeah, just be aware there's some quality differences. The fabric doesn't feel the exact same. The fit might not be the exact same. So yeah. Otherwise, I think it was a pretty positive experience, except for that run in the leggings, which I'm still sad about. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, give it your thumbs up. And also, if you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel so you get notified about all the new and upcoming videos. Um, if you have any feedback, any suggestions for new brands or something, or like for improvements, whatever, um, leave it in the comments down below this video. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and you can also DM me there, but be aware that I will probably not see your DM. And if you have an urgent question or something you want to let me know, please do leave a comment here on YouTube and I'll get to you. I'll get to you. I'll get back to you <laughs> as soon as I can. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was fun and entertaining and useful. And I will see you next time. Bye.